When I was a child, I talked like a child, thought like a child, and reasoned like a child. But I didn't live like a child. You took that away from me. You ruined me. Now, Jody, we're going to try this again, okay? I want you to look into the camera and tell me everything that Mr. Lewis did to you. I don't know what to say. Jody. Jody. Did Mr. Lewis ever touch you in your private area? Yes. What did he say to you, Jody? He said, take your pants off, Jody. Let me look at it. Did he ever make you take off your clothes? Yes. What else did he say to you, Jody? He, he put some cream on it. Put cream on what, sweetie? What did Mr. Lewis put cream on? My weenie. Come on, buddy. Let's go. You. W. W. Nope. No W's. Any more takers? Come on. All right, Matthew. What's your guess? I know the whole word. Is okay. it morning? It certainly is not. <gasps> Mr. Lewis, it's yes. time for lunch. It sure is. Guys, we're running a little late. Let's get up and get ready for lunch. choice. You gotta eat something. Keeps you strong and healthy. Jody, what's going on, man? This is the third time you pulled this no lunch, no money stunt this year. What's this about? It's the truth, Mr. Lewis. And your dad hasn't given you any lunch money? No. Hmm. Why not? He's never home, and I don't have any money in the jar. Hmm. You can't tell him I told you this. Hmm. Thirsty? Mr. Lewis, the proof is in the pot. You can't honestly look at these pictures and tell me that you never inappropriately touched that little boy. I don't know what you want me to say. I will not admit to something I didn't do. Is this you in the picture, Mr. Lewis? Damn hey, right, that's me. But I did not inappropriately touch that boy. I'm not sick. You people are sick. And you're not examining the evidence in its entirety. Tell me the story in its entirety. You're not interested in my story. You're only interested in proving your story. And furthermore, I have no further interest in you wasting my time.
Ready to go, buddy? Mr. Dunlop. I noticed you hadn't returned any of my phone calls. Uh, you know, I've been busy, man. We don't all have a nine to five. Yeah, but we all have responsibilities. And when you fail to handle yours, it's worth taking time out of your schedule to rectify, don't you think? Excuse me? He comes almost every day with no lunch or lunch money. The boy wore the exact same clothes from last week, with stains. He never has his homework, and really he's totally clueless as to what he needs. Mr. Lewis, don't tell me how to raise my damn child, okay? Your responsibility is to teach him. My responsibility is to raise him. Remember that. Position your fingers like this. Got it? Got it. Okay, go back there and I'll throw it to you. Throw it! Thank you for lunch, Mr. Lewis. You have nothing to worry about. You're welcome. So get on out of here. Let me ask you a question. I'm yours. Are you sure that you're convinced that I did not molest that kid? You're my client. Our fate rests on my certainty, Mr. Lewis. I'm afraid your actions don't reflect that statement. I'm sorry you feel that way. Mr. Lewis, you hired me because you trust my ability to represent you thoroughly and victoriously. Right now, I need for you to exercise that trust. Let me do my job. I've got this. I have some new evidence that I'm presenting in this meeting right here. I'll get back to you, let you know the outcome. I'll tell you what, why don't I stay right here while you go to your meeting and you can come out and relay that evidence to me directly. No letters, no phone calls. You do that. Someone's in a jolly mood today. Oh, well, I'm just happy to see you. So, are you here to take me up on my offer? No, I'm here to make you an offer. Well, look, my deal is solid. Oh, and in here? I mean, need I say any more? Actually, you have a lot more to say. On this envelope, I have results back from the lab. I took Jody's clothes from the school and ran them through a macroscopic examination and through forensic techniques. Stains of semen were found. Okay, I I'm, I'm confused. Are, are you telling me you're on my team now? I mean, are you surrendering? 
the semen stains are traced back to Peter Dunlap. This DVD contains a confession by Jody to the authorities that his father touched him on multiple occasions inappropriately. Oh, and this folder contains documentation of every day my client was forced to stay late because your client neglected to pick up his son. I'm going for aggravated sexual assault, lewd acts on a child, and child neglect. That looks like a sentence of 60 years to life. With a confession, I may ask for 45. Now my offer is solid. me. Set me up. This is my life you're talking about. As to the charge of lewd acts upon a child, verdict as to count one, we the jury find the defendant, Peter Dunlap, guilty. As to the charge of child neglect, verdict as to count two. We the jury find the defendant guilty. As to the charge of providing false information to a law enforcement officer, verdict as to count three. We the jury find the defendant guilty. When I was a child, I talked like a child, thought like a child, and reasoned like a child. But I didn't live like a child. You took that away from me. You ruined me. When I became a man, I put away childish things, including blame. I realize I may never understand your actions, and I don't care to at this point. You must know this, broken is the betrayed heart, trapped in a world of confusion. That can be fixed, but ruined? Ruined is the soul and mind of one who chooses not to forgive, who rather hates than to live. I am not that person. So dad, I forgive you. <laughs> 